going to show you how to prepare perfect images for your Apple Wallet and Google Pay passes. Now, in this case, I'm going to be creating a coupon, but you can use exactly the same process for other passes and indeed use exactly the same template for a loyalty card. The first thing to do is from this help article or our other parts of the library within Passkit.com is just download the Adobe Illustrator images template. That will provide you with the artboards you need to make sure you've got exactly the right dimensions for your Apple Wallet and Google Pay passes. Now I've downloaded that already, so I'm gonna go straight into my Illustrator where I have this file. Now you can see it's presented with instructions for use. Also a couple of examples, which we can zoom in on, on the left-hand side, just basically giving you guidance where certain images sit the dimensions of those images now this is a useful document if you did want to pass it on to your design team you can see where the apo logo sits uh, you can see where text sits you can see where a hero image sits and other things that you'll require when you're actually coming to design the pass like color description anything else you want to sit on the back of an apple wallet pass and then what, what do you want the redeemed state of a coupon to look like in the case of a coupon? Uh, the Google Pay equivalent of a coupon. You can see here shows where the Google logo sits, what color you want, whether you've got the hero image, the dimensions of those hero images, and again, whether you want different text on the Google Pay pass compared to Apple Wallet. And then similar to what I showed before, uh, what does it look like after redemption? What does the hero image look like redeemed? And again, with all of those dimensions. Okay, so let's go and take a, a start. So you can see, you can read it these instructions or guidelines at your own pace, these examples. Then you can see there's instructions on how to use this Adobe Illustrator board. I mean, if you're not familiar with Adobe Illustrator, you can follow these instructions, but maybe you're doing it in Photoshop or some other image editing tool, but the dimensions will go through exactly the same. And the advice I'll give you here can be applied irrespective of what image editing tool you're using. So firstly, the artboards that are in here are the correct dimensions for all pass images. So don't alter the artboard sizes and we'll run through how to export for screens if you are using Illustrator. I will talk about the dimensions for each of these images, just in case you're using a different image editing tool. So the first one is the Apple wallet icon. Now that doesn't appear in the examples to the left-hand side, but this is the icon that appears on Apple Wallet when someone is in a location where they've got a coupon that's relevant or a membership card that's relevant and you've embedded that location or where end user is receiving an updated message, uh, whether that's updating them on the points or it's telling them the, the uh, coupon has been redeemed. The Apple Wallet icon appears on that lock screen uh, next to the text. And the dimensions for that um, icon are 87 pixels by 87 pixels. So if I look at the properties of this artboard, you can see 87 by 87. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit on this one. And I'm going to be using this to create a new Burger King coupon. So in this, I want to put the Burger King logo and I happen to have the SVG or the AI file of the Burger King logo. It's a simple case of just copying. So I'm going to command C. Um, if you're not familiar with that, you can go up here with copy. I'm going to come into my template and I'm going to command V, which pastes it. Now obviously that's uh, bigger than 87 by 87. So I'm just going to change the size of this and I'm going to move it into this artboard here. Okay, let's zoom back in again. And I'm just going to align that with the artboard, make sure it's perfectly central. There we go. Okay, so now one thing to note with the Apple lot screen icon is you can see that this is a transparent logo. We've got a bit of white background, but it's transparent. It's got a transparent background here. Now, if that was to display on the lot screen, that will actually show up anything transparent or an, what we call an alpha channel will show as black if it does not have a color um, and that typically doesn't look very good so apple when it presents a lock screen will have a slight radius here like you'd imagine the apple icons are uh, but it won't display the full round so what i find and advise is let's just put a, a background color behind this one and now i've got basically this is on a white background so when it's displayed on the Apple Wallet lot screen, it will be displayed nicely with a white background, slightly rounded edges, um, but you won't have any sort of black coloring around it. 
Okay, so that's the Apple icon that appears on the lock screen. Now let's go down to the Apple logo. Now if you take a look at the Apple Pass logo, which is this one here, the dimensions for this are 480 by 150. So 480 pixels wide by 150 high. Um, it does not need to take up the full space of 4, 480 and 150 is the maximum, but 480 is the absolute maximum you could go to with an icon. Now let's, let's go quickly take a look at um, what this, this looks like on a pass, which we can see here. So you can see here, it takes up this space. So we recommend that you always left justify the Apple logo uh, because you do have room here for other things like expiry date. Uh, you may even have other fields. You could put up to a couple of fields in, in this side of things. So if you, if you have a small logo um, or not something that's extra wide, make sure you put it to the left-hand side. It just looks better. So we're going to do that. Um, again, we're going to use the same Burger King logo, so it's quite easy in my case. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste the logo. You notice that I'm not copying and pasting the white background. Now, there's a reason for this, which I will talk about. So we're going to make that big enough to fit in there. I'm going to keep it to the left. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this space because it's just going to be empty and transparent. Now, in this case, do not put a color in the background. Do not put any color here. Don't try to match the color of the pass with the logo. Keep that transparent. Because um, what's going to happen, if we go over here, you can see a BK Text Club example, and they just have a black logo, and the space is transparent. So the color of the pass in this case, which is an, an orange color, is showing through. Now, if, you, if I put a background uh, of that orange color with the same hex code for the pass, unfortunately, it won't be perfect because the way that Apple treats its passes, there will be a slight difference even in the hex code that you see on Apple Wallet to what you put behind here. So we always recommend leave the background as a transparent background for your logo. Um, in this case, for Burger King, there is a white background behind Burger King, but it is a circle, and that's consistent with their branding. So we're going to leave that for, for Apple Wallet. So now we're going to the Apple Hero image, and the, the official speech for the Apple Hero is the Apple Strip image. And in this case, this is going to be the strip image for the pre-redeemed pass, so the, the coupon that hasn't been used yet. I have cheated a little bit that I've got those images already prepared. So I'm going to place the image I'm going to go here and you can see here I've got a naming convention. This is for free nuggets, Apple Hero. And I'm going to place that here. Now, you could, this is quite good that it's not quite central. In this case, again, I've got transparent. So where this not sat on the white, it's a bit difficult when you're sometimes in an artboard and illustrator. Uh, this has a transparent background. Uh, the, the chicken nuggets in this case nicely pop on a on a serviette and the words uh, the wording pops and then I'm going to place that exactly in the right location on the artboard itself. Now that white is actually transparent and will be replaced so the the color of the past will shine through. So if we go back to the example here, so you can see here the background color, which is this orange is shining through, is let through because the rest of that image is transparent. So if you want that kind of effect, uh, then make sure you leave the background of the image. And this also applies for Google, the hero image as transparent. By all means, you don't have to have transparent. I'm going to show you actually in the next one. Um, so that's the pre-redeemed, so the non-used coupon. And then this one is the image after it's been redeemed. So I'm going to place my Apple redeemed image, which I prepared earlier. Uh, and in this case, I don't want any of the color to shine through of the pass. So I've got a full bleed image. So this one's quite a nice image. So before they've used it, well, they'll see this with whatever color I choose for the um, coupon shining through. Um, and after they've redeemed it, they'll see this image on the pass. Great, so that's the Apple images done. Now we're gonna take a look at the Google Pay uh, logo. Let's let's remind ourselves what this looks like. So the icon that they show at the top, you can see it's round. I'm going to talk about that. And then the hero image is here. Similar treatment and style with a transparent background, but uh, a different size. So we do need to take that into account to make sure it's perfect. This sized image is 660 pixels by 660 pixels. Um, now, what Go the way that Google treats this, the logo should fit 
within a 15% margin, so it's not cut off when masked. So you want to ensure that the logo fits within the safe area, which I've shown as a guide here. And do, don't pre-mask it, so still put it on as a as a full square because Google will take care of, of cropping that into a circle when they present it onto a Google Pay Pass. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this and put this here. I want it to safely fit inside those marks and grow it to about there and center it. Okay, I could probably go a bit bigger actually but it wants to sit within those safeguards. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So I know that that's going to definitely be presented. Now, again, leave it with a full bleed background. So in this case, it's the same as what we talked about on the Apple icon. Now I know that this has a full bleed, the white background, so it will be displayed with white. But And Google, once you've uploaded this to, to Pasco, which will become a bit clearer soon, this will be then cropped when it turns into a Google Pay image, but I know that the icon is safe because it's in the safe area. Okay, now we've got um, the Google Pay Hero images, and they do indeed call it Hero, slightly different size. So before we had 1125 by 432 for Apple. For Google, it's 1032 by 336. Now in many cases I could, let's just you know take this image copy it down here, see if it works around about, maybe squeeze it down a little bit. So you can, you know, you can take the same image and make it work. But for me, a bit of a perfectionist, I'm going to use an image that is exact for that size. So I've delivered something here, made these in another editing tool. So I've got the perfect positioning for 1032 by 336. Again, this is a transparent background. So if I go up and have a look here, the color, the color of the pass itself, the background color is going to shine through. And then I'm going to do exactly the same for the redeemed image. I've just now perfected it for the Google Pay signs, the Google Pay sizes of 1032 by 336. Let's place that here. Google here, redeemed. And boom, let's put that there. And we are looking golden. Cool. Great. So now I've done all of my images. Let's just double check. So I've got my Apple lot screen icon, 87 pixels by the 87 pixels. I've got my Apple uh, logo, which is a maximum of 480 by 150. I have my Apple Hero image pre-redeemed, so before use, which is 1125 by 432. I've got my Apple redeemed image, which is also 1125 by 432, because it just replaced that image. I've got my Google Pay logo, which is 660 by 660, but make sure that you've got uh, the icon fitting within that safe area, uh, which is a 15% margin. And I've got my Google Pay Hero image pre-redeemed and my Google Pay Hero image redeemed. Now in Illustrator, they've got a really nice tool which I can export those artboards to screens. So I go here, I can click on export and I see here export for screens. And the way I've set this template up is you don't want to export the instructions, but I want to export artboard one, two, three, four five, six, seven. And this is quite a nice little check. You can see that where it's white, I've put that white background in, but where it's transparent, it's a slightly gray. This is just showing the artboards. And you obviously want to choose where you want to put those images. Because they're all set up correctly for the, exactly the right size for Apple Passes and Google Passes, I want to scale at 1x. In this case, because I want to keep the, the images lightweight, but I also want to account for the transparent layer, I do want to use PNG. But if I use PNG on its own, then the image 
sizes will be quite high and you don't need to go to that higher grade. You won't see any difference within an Apple Wallet Pass or Google Pay Pass. So we want to be PNG 8, which still gives a great resolution, still allows us to carry the alpha channel, the transparent channel across, and yet will also be about 25% of the size if I was using normal PNG, which will mean the pass will load quicker, it'll, it'll take up less memory in the phone. So we're always trying to think of the most efficient use of these images. And that's it, really. So I'm going to click on X artboards and all of those images will now be exported from Illustrator and saved into the location that I've chosen. In this case we're actually going to change this to pictures BK demo. So I'm going to choose that and then going to go export. Boom. And there you can see it. So it's exported all of the artboards with the name. So I've got Apple icon. Um, it puts the minus eight there just to indicate it's a PNG eight. And you can see they're all pretty decent sizes. So two kilobytes, five kilobytes, this is really nice. If you've got that type of size, then the weight of the pass is gonna be low and it's load even quicker.